Hello everyone, welcome to our second Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how you could select actors in a selection box. So in the last tutorial, we showed how you could draw the, the, the drag selection box. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how you could select the actors inside the. So I'll just quickly give you an example here. I can go here, put some boxes. Uh, I can use my mouse click to draw a box and if I draw over these boxes, I can select a few of them or all of them and change their skin to something else. Okay, so going to our tutorial level, here I have made a few changes from last time. So I've added some cubes. These are just a static mesh in a blueprint. That's it, I'll just put them there. Another thing I've added is a post-processing volume here and in the level blueprint I have set the settings so that I can change the material of these cubes to see whether they are they have been selected or not. So going to our HUD from last time this is what we've had. Now the only change I made is that I've added two outputs from the draw drag box so currently in this game, we can use our mouse button to, to draw a box, but it doesn't do anything. And in this draw box function, now I have added an input. So one input is the initial position of the mouse. And the second output is the current position of the, of the mouse. So we want to output these two. What we want to do next is create another function and I would, uh, let's call it select actors in box. And I'm going to add two inputs to it. So this is the first mouse position and it's going to be vector 2D and same for the second one. So this is the, the current mouse position. And we can go back here and add this function. And I will connect these mouse positions to this one. Okay, so there's a function called get actors in selection rectangle. And we can filter by class to those ones that we want to select. So I'll, I'm gonna pick the cube one because these are the only ones I wanna select. And I can connect the first and second points to these ones. And I'm going to loop over them. Okay, now I want to store all the actors that are in the drag selection box. So I'm going to create a variable here and I would call it selected actors and the type would be an array of actors. Okay so so from the first and second points I found all the actors which are in that rectangle and I want to see that if they're not in the selected actors so if this array doesn't contain any of those then I want to add the two selected actors so if it already contains we don't want to do anything if it doesn't contain the actor so it's a it's a new selection we want it to be added so if it's false, we want to add unique. And this would also be selected actors. And what we want to add is this new actor, which is inside the box. Okay, just to see what's happening here, I'm also going to add another function I've already created. It's called set highlight. I will show you later 
what this function is. It's, it's a very simple function. And I would connect the node here. I'm gonna take this so that it uh, it turns the highlight on. Okay, so let's go back and see if this does anything. Yes, so as you can see, these actors are getting selected and the, the highlight post process is being turned on. But the problem is when I go back, it doesn't turn them off. So it's only working one way and not the other way. So we need a system to detect which ones are being unselected. Now in this one, these actors is a larger set of these selected actors so we can add them, but if you want to remove them, we need to have a memory of what selected actors we have and whatever is not contained, we should remove those. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do it in reverse, which means I would loop over all the actors I have in selected actor. And for whatever in here that is not contained by the get actors in selection rectangle, I'm going to turn the highlights off. So I will do the exact same thing here. So I'll just copy this. Now this is not going to be selected actors anymore, it's going to be these ones. And if it's not contained, we want to turn the highlight off. And we want to remove the actor from selected actor. So I'm gonna. Now this, yeah, sorry, I forgot to connect this node. So I want to remove this actor from the from the array of selected actors. Let's try one more time. Yeah, this is working fine. And this is exactly what we wanted. So just to show you what the set highlight is, it's a function, it's a very simple function. It loops over all the static meshes of that actor and it sets the render custom depth. And this is basically just for the for the post-process material. Okay, uh, I think we're done here. If you want to, if you want me to go over the the highlights, I can do that in a separate tutorial. But this is this is enough for what you wanted to show. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great time. Bye bye.